Let me show you how to integrate JotForm with Flowmatic. That way you can start your WordPress automations right away. So follow me to my desktop right now. Welcome to JotForm. My name is George and I'm going to show you how to integrate JotForm with Flowmatic. This way we can create seamlessly integrations with no coding knowledge at all. So let's get started. This is my job form panel, and we're going to create a simple form that we're going to use for our automation on Flowmatic. So let's create a form. We're going to start from scratch, but it works with templates and it also works with cart form. In this case, I am going to use classic form and we're going to drag in a basic elements, full name, phone and email. You can add any elements that you want. It's going to work and it's going to send that data to Flowmatic so we can later on automate it with something else. Next step you want to do is go into settings, integrations, and in integrations, we're going to search for web hook. We're going to select it and this web hook link, we're going to grab it from our Flowmatic system. So let's go into our WordPress site. Now Flowmatic is a WordPress plugin. One of the big benefits of Flowmatic is that it's based on websites. So if you install it on one website, you can create as many tasks as you want, as many automations as you want. They don't limit you. They only limit you on the website. So it's a pretty neat feature. So the first thing you want to do on Flowmatic after installing it in the plugins, you want to go to integrations, scroll down here and find job form and you want to install it. In this case, I already have it installed, but if you haven't go to install right here. Okay. Once you've done that, we're going to go into workflows and in workflows, we're going to create a brand new one. Okay. Now, the first thing is the trigger. So what needs to happen in order to do an action? The trigger is going to be a brand new form submission. OK, so let's go ahead and choose the application and we're going to choose job form. The event is going to be new form submission, and then we are going to grab our webhook URL. So let's go ahead and copy it. Go to job form, paste our webhook URL and complete the integration. There we go. Let's go ahead and finish. Let's go into preview form and we're going to go into our workflow right here. We're going to capture webhook data. That means that it's going to capture data that it's going to know where it's coming from, from your form, from each one of these elements. And then we can use it in an automation. Now, by default, it's going to grab this first data. What we need to do is turn off simple response and recapture response. Now it's waiting for a new response from your form. What you want to do is fill your form out one time. So here's our form. Let's go ahead and fill it out. Phone number. I'll just add a random phone number, a test email, and we're going to submit it. And that data is going to be received on Flowmatic. Here we go. We just received it and we're going to get a ton of data, including the elements data. So for example, here we go. We're going to find the pretty, which is all the data in one single section or individually. For example, the name, the last name, the phone number and the email. And if you have more elements, you'll find that data right here. Now, now that we're integrated, we need to do an action. So what do you want to happen once this form is submitted? Well, with Flowmatic, you can do several things. You can do simple things or really advanced things. For example, using API, CSV parser, SV, PHP functions, etc. But in this case, we want to use, for example, WordPress. And in this case, we're going to use that data we can create a post, we can create a user, we can create an, a whole bunch of things with this automation. So what you want to do is action event and in an action event. You have a list of everything that you can do with the data that you receive from the submission. So basically you can create a form to create posts on WordPress without giving them access to WordPress. So it can be a virtual assistant who's making these posts on your job form and submitting it. And it's going to automate it to post it here on WordPress. In this case, I'm going to automate it to create a new user. OK, so the first thing it's going to ask me is the username and these variables are going to be grabbed from our form. So for the form submission, I'm going to use the username as the email and then the email as the email. So we're going to keep it simple, but you can change these to different ones. email and then the first name. We're going to tie it to the variable on the form name that they filled out. The Torhe and then the last name. Here it is. And then we have the option for the password. If we add an element on our form to submit a password, then that would be the password. Or you can add a custom password to use it for all the users that are created 
or generate a password automatically. We're going to use that for this demo. And then we have the option for the user role. So when the user is created, what role will that person have? So are you going to give them admin access, editor, author, etc.? Let's just say that the person who fills out the form will later have an author access. Now, be aware that the user roles will vary. If you have, for example, WooCommerce installed, well, you can create a client with this automation, which is pretty neat, right? Then we're going to save and test the action. There we go. The status is successful. Let's go into our WordPress users. This is a test that we just ran. Now, before we test this out, let me go ahead and turn on the Flowmatic action. Let's go to the, the workflow. Let's turn this on. There we go. Let's go to the users and we're going to fill out our form. So in this case, we're going to say Miguel Lopez and phone number is going to be random and the email I'll just say test two at test.com. There we go. Let's fill it out and automatically our Flowmatic system here on WordPress is going to create the user on WordPress. So let's refresh this page and boom, we have the user created. And just like that, you can also create automations to automatically create posts, update users, update posts, create categories, and a whole bunch of features that Flowmatic gives you access to when it comes to WordPress. Now, aside from WordPress, press, there's a lot of integrations that you can use to automate. So for example, if you want to use Google Drive to send your data from JotForm, that is possible to Google Sheets, to a lot of automations, that is possible there. So it's a really great way to automate your job form submissions with Flowmatic. And basically that is how you're going to integrate job form with Flowmatic. Please let us know here in the comments what you think about this integration. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.